and I don't know how to tell him about it. And he's <laughs> he's planning to go back. And he said he wants us to go for checkup so he will know how fast it is for us to be able to give birth on time. You understand? Before he travels back. He's uh, I need I need your help. I need you people's help to be able to <laughs> to That's be able to know down. what i'm going to do about this situation right now because i'm scared of losing my husband hello people it's your boy switch lock me aka the next governor but today again we don't interest you can do that unless i be doing best um, but today matter a get as a techno one pin today matter a chop belly food like this matter hey god we live in a cold world this matter wear something way past sneakers Eh? In not something we pass tie. I'm, I know as I will take describe this very issue. Hmm? The matter get weight like it is very heavy. This very issue now. This sister here now she bring this matter to my table. When I went through this confession, through when I went through her email, the story this young girl here narrated to me through that email got me crying. Like seriously, we all have to be careful out there. But let me not be as if I'm the one telling you guys this story. I would like us to go and meet this young girl here so that she will narrate this story to you guys exactly the same way she emailed it to me that made me to invite her down to this place. But before then, fans, if you want to reach out to me, if you want to contact me, the one and only way you can get to me is through my email. My number is not on social media. Yes. And know this. Skitlot Comedy will never DM you first. I will never call or email you first for any reason at all. So if anybody should do that thing to you, I beg you. Demand for a video call. This video call is just to be sure you are talking to the right person before you start transacting whatsoever business you want to transact with this person in the name of Skit Lord Comedy. Why I am saying this is because Skit Lord Comedy will never be held responsible for anybody with their scam. Yes, I will not be held responsible please don't allow yourself to be used don't fall a victim let he who has ears hear what i just said as you continue to throw skit lord comedy to stay updated as you continue to be a royal and faithful fan may god bless you now and always amen now may we dive into the matter we bring us come here this afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Please, can you speak out? How are you doing? I'm fine, sir. All right, sister. It is because of the gravity of the story you emailed to me that is making me hide your identity. So, please, I wouldn't want to know your name. And I don't want to know the name of anybody that is involved in this very case. But at the same time, I want you to tell us this your story once again. The reason why I said us is that behind you there is camera. We are recording this program and the world is watching. Here with me is my seer who by grace of God sees secrets and deep things. And he also knows when someone is telling lies. So I would appreciate if you narrate this your story to him. Just exactly the same way you emailed it to me. So that he will look into it and know the advice and solution. He needs to give to you concerning what is happening in your life. So please tell us this your story. Thank you. Okay. Actually, there's this guy that is now my husband now. We were dating before he traveled abroad. Okay. So since he traveled ab abroad, I lost his contact. We stopped communicating for almost two months. Okay. And when he traveled abroad, things were very, very hard for me and for my family too. 
and um the only child of my parents they, de they depend on me so much that everything i get i give to them for their for sustaining them okay. so since he traveled abroad we lost contacts and there's no way i could actually take care of myself take care of my families as well okay. so the the it just calm down hmm? calm down put yourself together all right hmm? don't cry i beg you hmm? just calm down so um he traveled you guys lost contact communication and them um, so i i started making friends especially male friends who helped me out then wants to take advantage of me because of helping me so i actually got so attached to it and i started sleeping around with men just to get money to take care of my family okay okay so later on after sleeping around for months then i noticed i started getting in touch with the guy my guy that is abroad mm -hmm. so we started communicating for a long time before he decided that he wants to come back okay. then before he came back i noticed due to my sleeping around mm -hmm. i noticed um just calm down yeah relax hmm? calm down this is not the end of the road Mm -hmm. just calm down put yourself together i beg you okay, okay so you noticed what i noticed i've contacted um hiv AIDS. for real yes sir <laughs> um, uh, things are really happening <laughs> do you guys hear that do you guys just heard what she said okay no problem let's let's have finish our story so you notice that you contacted H I uh -huh. so after communicating I, I didn't know how to tell him about it. I kept it to myself till he came back. Okay. He came back and he was planning on how to do my traditional wedding okay. stuff. So he did everything. So we, we started living together. Okay. So and I noticed that I noticed that he has actually contacted the same <laughs> HIV that that I have. Oh mm. more. <laughs> calm down. Mm? Calm down. Put yourself together. Okay. After he came back and then he got married to you. Yes, sir. Then you guys started making out, living as husband and wife. Yes, then you guys were making out and then you noticed that he has contacted that same HIV that you have. Yes. Okay. And then what happened? And I don't know how to tell him about it. And he's he's planning to go back. He's planning to go back. Calm down. Relax. Hmm? I understand how you feel. Hmm? But you just have to put yourself together. Hmm? So he's planning to go back. And he said he wants us to go for checkup so he would know how fast it is for us to be able to give birth on time, you understand, before he travels back. Okay, okay, okay. Now I get he wants you people to go for checkup. Yes. Okay. To examine yourself. Yes. Including um if you people are capable of having a baby or before, something. Oh yes, before he returns. Okay, he wants you to be pregnant before he goes yes, back. Yes, yes. Okay. So now what exactly brought you to my program what do you want us to do for you please uh, i need i need your help i need you people's help to be able to, to be able down. to know what i'm going to do about this situation right now because i'm scared of losing my husband i'm scared of losing him and i don't know what to do uh, calm down calm down yeah Omo, this is quite difficult hmm. this is a difficult one like seriously it is a difficult one sister when this your boyfriend traveled from what you said from what i'm sensing it means that he's the one when he was around he's the one taking care of you and your people yes okay yes. 
Now, when he traveled and you guys lost communication, instead of you indulging in such art, why didn't you look for a decent work that you can be doing? Eh? I did. I did, but I still I still met people that really wanted to help me, but still want the same thing. Okay, like okay, that the places you went looking for yes. work, they want to give you the job, but they want to sleep Take with advantage you. of me. So. Okay, before giving you the job. Yes. Okay, okay. Now I get. Another thing is that eh, another mistake you did that I don't like is that since you you've lived an extravagant life that resorted to what you are passing through now, why didn't you let your this your now boy husband know that look at the situation you are in eh, instead of giving him transferring that disease to him. Yeah, you should have at least let him know that look at what is happening, look at what is happening, and know I know definitely he's going to say he's not going to marry you again or he's not interested, but at least let him know other than giving him this sickness. Yeah? Now you know say definitely one way or the other he must find out. Okay, now he now say he has said that he wants you people to go to the hospital to do checkup. I don't even know the reason why he said that. Maybe he's feeling somehow or I don't understand. Yeah, but you shouldn't have allowed him to touch you, knowing fully well that you are not, that you are with this sickness. At least you would have used protection. But I know there is no way, since he's now married to her. Like, this very issue here, it just is it's very disturbing. Look at the young man now. Is now living with HIV, and if it's if he, if he happens to be someone who doesn't stay at a place that who like who likes sleeping around too, he will be sharing those things when he travels out. Like seriously, we must look for a way to quench this thing here and now, as in let it stop between there too, so that this guy will not go out and start messing up himself by so doing transferring this thing to other people that is if he's someone who doesn't stay at a place but no problem without wasting anybody's time i would want to bring sia into this very issue let's hear what sia has to say concerning it sia biko ekene kwa ngin kuku netu fulo gobuna watakri nwa ya neba sina onwe watakri woki ya niye ne mwoye Tupu or Gaba over do you? No, be a boy, no, be a what a woke be in a area can't born on Obuda. Number what a clear me Gawar over do you? A lose your communication hard at Bacaritazi because ne will lose your haggis in that Bacarita. Ye see what you eke. You have want a clean wine is in the eke. On we be do chobolo, go we yellow is in Uniaka. Con a cholo, a bobo no gare cholo, a choy dinier, to pue a year a bolo. E ha meria, o be do ze we with your to tell ye um woke, in the chori yaka, mana before he eriaka and haggy dinier. O be do me wire beefe, go me wire beefe. O dizier used to eat, or they addicted to that to eat. We see your tongue, be with Zendria. Now, for a man do na aga. Nay, dinner with whom walking on another hague away nazo is in on here. Also, no associable from one in an edge. Kifa met a wet up with her. Now, Obu Oya and do you you bona bought HIV. He had a mukun kawata kiri woke up or yana phone. He be the cuckoo also. O cochale a hem and a bidupa was again on our batter. Ebianuia. Yabu wata kili woke meche bata. Wega kugu ishia. Ebi do bwe. Kadina unye. Kahane ebi kadina wanye. Hane mekwe mmeko. Osi no obi achopita na yabu wata kili woke. Ebu tego kwe no onya. Ana bo ugiri na yocha. Ugiri na yocha. Na un yabu wata kili woke na asina. Ocho kahago ono ogu. Kahaga le une. Kahane no weha. Kahama kwa ka. Aga mu kwe mwa. Na ihe ndozo. O ya me wata kiri wan ya di. Walo so biya kutaye. No mari hoge me. No de. 
confused na je we je won adere emma na wa na wa adere emma ni ni na na abu e ara no ya miroji gbokuta anyi o maru ndu modu na ye maka ai were iki yere na ya bi he nwe si gbi ko do 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 ne ba go da ya na ya bu oku ke maru ndu modu i were iki ye ya bu nwa takiri nwa ai no to ogi si we ga ije ya bu ihe e kene kwa ngi nko oku come to this closer okay <coughs> okay, see, I want to say something. See, I want to say something. See, I can do one eight or even an emergency. See, I said that this very issue is very strong. I said it. I can not open a bay, see where Bawama and Yokoa. He said he doesn't know where to start. When he found really. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, I said what he has to tell you is not much. Hmm? See, I'm not going to. Kaliyama, dia geje akia, chopota, iye bezioku. Okay. Oka kaliyama, de kwa ziali amfe, no jionia, kuputi nya bezioku. Okay, see, I said instead of your husband will find out by himself. That it will be better for you to speak out, hmm? to tell him what is going on. Hmm? Say it will be okay, it will be fine for you. Hmm? Don't allow your husband to find out by himself. Confess this very issue to him so that you will be free. Eh? Then, if there is anything you people can do to keep up, hmm? you people will do it. See, I'm getting in here. Ah, nya bondi beha. Mhm. Tanya na fayelo. Nje mi ti nya bodia. Ko maluko ye si we ko walia. No ga wota. Okay. Nya mbo ko walia. Mano ka ma. Kaliama. On uji aki ya we cho putezi oku. Okay. See I said you should tell your people, tell your parents, hmm? You and them should go and meet your husband. They know the best way to talk to him. He said, your husband will understand when they talk to him, that he will understand. That it is better you tell him yours, that you people tell him than letting him find out by himself. Do you hear that? Yes, sir. Okay. No problem. See ya. We have a program. Okay. Sister, you heard what Sia said. I am not crucifying you. I am not judging you. But I wouldn't come to an end of this program without letting you know that what you did was absolutely young. Like you are still a young girl to start indulging in such life. Even if your parents has nothing they are doing, it doesn't warrant you to start doing what you did. There are other business, there are other things you can do to get money to feed your family. Since you said you are the breadwinner, I don't know why your parents are not working and the rest of them. Hmm? What you did is not good. The kind of lifestyle you chose when your boyfriend left the country is not good at all. Like seriously. So please, without wasting time, go and confess your husband how just go and do what Sia said you should do. Tell your people about this thing, then let your people move to your husband and let him know what is going on. Because if he didn't do so, he said he wants people to go to the hospital and run some tests, and there is no way people will go to the hospital, the hospital will not find out this very issue. So open up to him before it is too late. People, you guys have heard her story. Yes. A lot of young girls out there are passing through what this girl is passing through right now. Like, our young girls, some of our young girls these days, they, they are doing undo, unthinkable. Sometimes I go hear story, I go say, why is it that now this generation they bomb me? Therefore, bomb me for generation of my parents. 
when the world still they as God take plant them, they create them. These days, what is happening these days is on un unheard of. Sometimes I will doubt it. I will say this kind of thing cannot happen. But at the end of the day, I see it happening. Like this one now, you see, the, you hear her story. This girl now, okay, she, yeah, she is married, but if you look at, she might not be even be up to twenty three years. Yeah, she might be twenty two, twenty one, or thereabout. Just check, okay, sister, how old are you? Twenty two. Twenty two. Mm. I I said it. Just a young girl like this. Twenty two years. And you started sleeping with different men all because of money why is it that nobody has been able to conquer the spirit behind money eh? yes money is good but you shouldn't push her to the extent of doing extraordinary because of it now you are going to live the rest of your life with hiv yet your husband self the same thing eh? Or more. This is so heartbreaking. Yes, very, very heartbreaking. Please, we have to be careful. And my guys, way they out there, please, you guys have to be careful also. Before you do anything with a girl, no matter anything, please try to check out so many things. Hmm? Check out if medically you guys are compatible. Then run some necessary texts to be sure of what you are doing. That this person you are going into marriage or relationship with. Say this person is free from all kinds of diseases. Yes, if there is anything, check if it is the one that is curable. Or if it is the one you can manage. We need to check all these things and be careful. We don't jump on the bed with just anybody be you a guy be you a woman jump on the bed with anybody just because you are married to the person or you want to marry the person do the necessary text to find out how free or how cool the person is that is just my own i beg you in the name of god so you guys have heard the story you heard her story and you probably heard what she has said she should do so without wasting anybody's time i want to hear what you people have to say concerning this very issue what advice do you have for this young girl please do not judge her but at the same time i want you to go to the comment section tell us what you feel concerning this very issue yes but as you are commenting comment respectfully do not forget to like and share after watching above all subscribe to stay updated as you continue to flow skit love comedy to stay updated as you continue to be a royal and faithful fan may god bless you now and always amen now you don't watch this program and you learned something from me i need your support i need your help the help I need from you, the support I need from you is just to share this video. Make this video go viral for the world to watch and learn. There are plenty to learn in this her very confession. Our young girls out there have to learn. They need to be careful. Our young men out there need to watch and learn and be careful. Please, share this video. And as we are doing so, do not forget that we live in a cold world. Wear best friend by best friend. Wear loved one by loved ones. Where those you trust so much betrays you. We live in a cold world where it is better to dine and wine with the enemy than to dine and wine with that person where you call best friend, where you call loved one, to, with that person you trust so much that will end up to buy you tomorrow. Because they say, now who no man, na Hindi, by man. Even the Bible have it. Hmm? Please, do not misunderstand me. Do not misquote me. So, click on the share button right now. 
share this video as many times as you can and as you do so oga adere ge mma na eke oga adere ge mma na ori oga adere ge mma na afo oga adere ge mma na nkwo ise